Hi everyone, it's Alex. Welcome back to Collection Neo and we are back again for another review and today we are heading back into the Mega House Ultimate Article line with Carmen Ryder Cougar. Um, I think this is the fourth release in this Ultimate Article line, specifically for Carmen Ryder. They have um, done other um, franchises, like they've done Godzilla, and they're doing some new franchises, which we'll get onto the end of the, at the end of the video. Um, if you've not checked out my other reviews of these guys, um, I reviewed Conrad One and I reviewed Conrad Five, which you can find on the channel. Um, they also did Conrad Black RX, which I haven't picked up yet. I've not found him for a good price, but um, we do have Cougar here. Um, now, if you don't know much about this line, like I said, I do go over it um, in the other videos, but I'll go over it quick. It's a fully PVC plastic line. But the figures are about one fourth scale, maybe just a little bit under. Um, they mostly come with light up features and um, gimmicks and switch out arms and things like that. Um, like I say, go check out the other reviews and I do go over it a bit more. Cougar comes in exactly the same styling as the um, Conrad 1 and 5s as well. You know, big box, flap open. Um, I'm ordering all these guys from um, Tokyo Otaku Mode, which are doing brilliant um, prices with br brilliant discounts and their Tom points and um, fantastically low shipping to the UK. Um, they're brilliant, I highly recommend them. Um, um, so yeah, so we're back again with um, another rider. Um, Cougar, if you don't know, Cougar was kind of, well, he was the first high say rider. So when they bought Common Rider back in 2000, um, he was the first one. And he it's a great series, guys. Um, Cougar and all those first few, well, I'd say first so many series, Agito and Kabuto and Fives are all great. They're more, like, more akin to a drama with a touch of comedy, um, a lot more serious than Conrad is now. Conrad is very hard to watch now. Um, so yeah, the, the the run has been going since 2000 with Kuga and we're all the way up to Sabre now, um, which I haven't watched much of Sabre. I've watched the first couple of episodes, it seems fine. Um, the problem now with Conrad is there's too much emphasis on the belt and the gimmick rather than the actual show what's going on you know it's just pushing more forms more riders and that sort of thing zero one was okay i watched more zero one i watched about 30 odd episodes of zero one that's fine um but none of them are as good as you know these older series like say cougar you can actually i think it's licensed now you if you live in the us or maybe in the uk too or europe um definitely in the us you can literally go online now and find it and watch it for free i think or maybe just like a monthly subscription. It's like 50 odd episodes, you get through it pretty quick. Um, so as you can probably see with Cougar, they didn't stray too far away from the classic design. He did have different forms. And um, this is in the base form, which I believe is the mighty form. It's been a while since I've watched Cougar, at least probably about 10 years. Um, but yeah, he's a classic looking rider. And of course the sculpt's super on, on point here again. And um, we're not going to go too in depth here because we've got the same sort of base. What we've got on the other riders, so we've got the normal plastic base with a. Um, you get a couple of stickers for this guy as well. You get a show logo, and then I don't know what the other logo was. I completely forgot. And um, which was kind of the same thing that they give you a fives, and then you've got your button on the front here. It takes three AAA batteries, same as the other two. You've got your button on the front here for activating your light up, which is in the eyes and the belt, which we'll get onto in a moment. Um, like I say, Cougar's a pretty basic looking rider, but it's um, a lot less busy than the newer ones. It kind of does that perfect thing of matching classic and modern, in my opinion. Um, and the sculpt looks absolutely fantastic here. We'll get a bit closer. I'm not even going to pause, guys. I'm just going to bring because he's so light because we are talking pvc here he's so light we can just bring him forward like i say these guys are about one fourth scale so he stands about 16 inches you know he's got this huge wide leg stance so he's a little shorter the base is about an inch an inch and a quarter so um but if you do uh, you can you can display them without the bases if you want but obviously you won't get the light up feature if you stand them next to other quarter scale figures they do pretty much match up um, I think it was, I think retail's about 250, 300 bucks on them. 
um, which seems a lot for um, PVC, but I just think there's no other line out there really doing Carmen Rider like this, and I really, really like it. Um, they have just put another rider up um, for order, which is Carmen Rider 1 again, but the old style Carmen Rider 1. Um, and they're starting not only to... I did say on one of my old videos, I think, that they needed to start putting sound effects and music, and they're doing that. Um, also, like I said earlier, they are branching out into other um, lines, and they're doing Ultraman. So their first Ultraman piece went up, which was Ultraman Tiga. Um, so I ordered that straight away. I love Tiga. Tiga's like one of the best Ultraman shows. Um, and again, they've incorporated light up and sound effects and music so i can't wait to get that and show you guys talking of light ups um we'll flip the light up the lights off and i'll put the light up on and you can take a look in the dark and then i'll relight everything so here we go guys we've got a two-step switch on the base again so we do one and we get the eyes lit up the small gem in the head and the belt and then we flick over again and we get the animation on the belt. Pretty simple. It's pretty simple for Kuga. Um, the animation on the belt is pretty simple. There's only one light in there, basically just whizzing around an orange one. Um, simpler times. Simpler Carmen Rider times. Times that we need to get back to, in my opinion. Start focusing on stories and characters rather than flogging toys to kids because unfortunately that's what comrade has become um, let's put lights back on boop and boop so yeah really good light up as usual um, no um, light leaking on this one either um, on Conrad 1 there's a bit of leakage around the eyes and the head but no nothing on this um, looks really really good and we can just knock that back off. Um, and then we do get two switch out arms. So the arms just pull off. It's PVC. It's very easy. This is like your ready pose. And then you also get a straight left arm. And then we get the hoo Thumbs up. Which again is very kooky. And of course, if you want, you can mix and, mix and match. I like the thumbs up pose a lot. I've had him in the ready pose for a while, but I'll probably leave him in the thumbs up pose from for, from now on. Um, um, just to go with the other riders. Um, stick around, guys, because what I will do is once I've finished up, which we're not far off, it's a pretty simple statue. Um, I'm going to throw him in the collection um, with the other two guys and my little Conrad shrine, which you can have a look at. But that's it really guys, it's a Mega House Ultimate article piece, it's Conrad Akuga. Um I really hope they do a few more on the line, I'd really like them, I, I mean I don't mind them doing um, Conrad 1 again, you know it's a, it's a very different look and it's an update, but it, I don't really want to spend another you know 200 quid on essentially an older character again, you know I love all the original Riders and stuff, you know, they've got a lot of legacy. I love it when they show up in the big films and stuff. But, you know, the high say stuff is what I really, really like. So we want to see we want to see Kabuto. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing Ryuki. I'd like to see Forze. Um, and Double. Double would be great. Um, and, you know, I can just imagine Double's pose and the switch outs and all this and... Come on, Mega House, if you do double, you can do 10,000 different colours, like they do with everything from double. <laughs> but there you go, guys, very simple, pleasing piece, good size, great little light-up feature, you can just flick on whenever you want. Um, I do like Japanese, like, it's literally, as you've seen on the other videos, guys, it's just a big button at the front, a switch that you pull across. It's chunky, it's very Japanese, um, but yeah, it's great. So what I'll do, guys, I'll throw this back into, on the shelf, because I've got a little Conrad shelf now. I'll turn all the lights on on all the three figures, and we'll um, have a look at that. 
So here we go guys, this is the setup as it is at the minute. Um, if you watch my collection video, which thanks a lot of people have been watching that, I'm really happy with that response. Um, you probably already saw this, but um, there we go. We've got a Zero One poster. We've got a um, Conrad Agato G4 poster. Um, just because Agato is probably my favorite rider. And we've got Gills on there. Oh, I love, who doesn't love Gills? Um, so maybe I can get a couple, squeeze a couple more on the shelf with an angle. I've got no idea where I'm going to put Tiga. Maybe we'll set up another shelf here by the door and do an Ultraman sh shrine as well. I have got an Ultraman poster in there, but um, yeah, very very happy with this line, guys, and um, long may it continue. Um, but there you go. Um, I'm actually going to review a couple other pieces now. I think. And so you, you'll probably see a bit of activity over the next week or two. But um, thanks for watching, guys. That was Mega House Ultimate Article, Common Rider Cougar. And we'll see you next video. Bye.